Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about the privacy options in Windows 8. Uh, what are the different privacy options? I've uh, done videos where you have specific items, you know, where to check for the privacy options of your webcam, uh, of apps and stuff like that. But I did never, uh, actually never done one where we go into the privacy options and I explain what they mean actually. So go into your uh, search or in the charms bar on your search and just type privacy options or just privacy and uh, here you'll see the different webcam and so on just click privacy settings and there you will be at PC settings in the privacy change privacy options so what are the privacy options on the uh, computer, well, at the left, you have first of all the panel that says there's general location, webcam, microphone, and other devices. We'll go through all of those slowly. First of all, in the general options, first one you got is let apps access my name, picture, and other account info. If that is on, that means that apps that want to have your details, and these details come from probably your Microsoft account that you've logged in to Windows 8 with. So if you have a picture, if you have uh, personal details, it will get your name and picture and some personal details off of your simply being logged in your Microsoft account in Windows 8. So if you are uh, a little bit of a freak on the privacy options, you can turn this off which means that nobody can get that information anymore now keep in mind some apps will not work if you don't give the privacy options more and more today uh, apps are kind of working like Facebook they want to have maximum details about you so that they can actually uh, serve you ads and uh, information that might be appealing to you the second option let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps what that means is that depending on what you click on the ads in apps and stuff like that, you have an advertising ID. There's a number basically that is tagged to your account. And so when you go to apps that require to check it out, what they'll do is use that option. That number will tell them what type of ads you might prefer. It's all related to how they serve ads to you. So uh, as you see in Windows, uh, like any operating system, there's a lot of stuff going in the background that nobody knows about, just surfing the web. Turn on Smart Screen Filter to check web content URLs that Windows Store apps use. So Smart Screen is basically a filter that will try to prevent you from going to websites that aren't um, correct or that have problems. This one, what it does actually is simply check when you are in an app and you click on a link that brings you to a web page, it's actually going to check um, to see if the web page is suitable, if it's okay before it sends you there. So basically, if you want to put the two other ones at zero at off, you might want to keep the smart screen filter to on to make sure that if you click on something in an app, you don't go to malicious websites. This happens rarely, but you know, in the case where a, um, for example, an app's website might be uh, kind of, uh, you know, act by a pirate of some sort without their knowledge, well, it prevents you from going to these websites. Show text suggestions based on what I type and write on this PC. Turning this off will reset the suggestions. That is, if you notice, for example, if I go in my search and start typing something, it already will let me know or complete um, what I'm trying to say. So here you see health and fitness because I just typed HE. So that's the suggestions that is sent from the computer. So every time you start typing, if this is on, it will s give you suggestions. Oh, maybe that's what you want to go to. Um, 
personally, it's this is kind of a double-edged sword. It can be a good thing, and it could be interesting, but it can be really annoying at times. Uh, in my case, I'd say it's annoying about 70% of the time, and it's good 30% of the time. So um, turning this off might actually be interesting and will prevent you from having, I don't know if it's immediately, in my case it's not yet done, but uh, it um, should normally stop at different places in Windows from actually suggesting stuff for you. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. So what it does is actually tell you um, look at your computer and if you are, for example, my computer was set for French at uh, the beginning. So what it's going to do is look, say, okay, he's in um, Eastern Canada, uh, French. Okay, I'm going to check for content that is near his location that is in French because that might be what he wants and what is interesting that's another information here you can put on or off this is usually nice to keep it on because what it does it's really when you go on the web for example it's really gonna help you uh, have local stuff in your language near you location well location is that windows and apps use my location so um, a lot of apps want to have your location because they actually use this location to give you better content. Google search, for example. If you don't give Google search its location, uh, a lot of people say, well, it doesn't matter. Well, it does, because if you just type pizza, well, it's going to give you pizza all around the world. But if you put the location services on and type pizza, it's gonna give you pizza from restaurants around you or places around you, very close to where you live. So it's, uh, kind of interesting to have some location on some apps. I personally here have uh, location enabled for uh, weather, Google search, um, a few little you know things that might actually be very important to have a location setting. But I don't leave it on. This is very app by app. You can either you know put the general switch it off. This means that no app will know your location. But the general switch I usually like it at on, but just choose the apps that I want to have location. So you can play with these. There are apps that it doesn't matter. Why would you want to have location? Uh, one that I turn off is Facebook. Because I it really is annoying when you update Facebook status and it says, oh, near this spot, near this restaurant, oh, downtown. Uh, I don't want you to know where I am when I update my status. If I want to, I want you to know it. I'll let you know. Webcam. This is uh, the privacy settings for the webcam, so it me gives you the idea of which apps can use your webcam, which don't. Uh, you might not want your cam to actually have, uh, be, you know, you don't want necessarily all the apps to use your cam. So here you can choose either to have webcam off, which means no app can actually use a webcam. Or in this case, I prefer to have it on, but just choose which apps I will give permission to use the webcam. Um, if you put this at off, one thing for sure is that your webcam is never turned on by any apps. If you're kind of scared about that, you can turn the general switch at off. Microphone is the same thing. It's the apps that can use your microphone. So uh, you put it on or off. There's the general switch. And uh, you can choose which apps will use microphone. For example, I want to have Skype on because I want to uh, use Skype with uh, different people and talk to other people. Uh, but you can, of course, once again, put the general switch at off, which means no apps will ac access your microphone. And finally, other devices it depends on what you have installed. If you have some specific devices um, that might want to use webcam or might want to use some general location information, they will show up here. My list is empty because I have no other devices, but you might have something written here. It's all about privacy, so 
you might have a device connected to your computer that wants to know location or some other uh, stuff, but that is not included in general lists of the privacy settings. So that's pretty much privacy. Hope uh, it helps you understand what the privacy settings mean, how to use them, and you'll be able to uh, you know personalize your privacy settings to your liking instead of uh, using you know general privacy settings that are decided for you. Now you can customize them and just use the ones that you want. If you enjoy our videos, well, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about? Let us know also. We'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.